Talk a little bit about Apple. Everyone always wants to talk about Apple, right? <laughs> it's kind of the it stock, it company. Um, you have a $45 billion stake, more or less. How closely do you follow the company? You know, people are concerned they haven't really introduced any new products. Well, if you have to closely follow a company, you shouldn't own it. Really? No. I mean, if you, I mean, if you, if you buy a business, if you buy a farm, you know, you go up and look you know, every couple of weeks to see how far the corn is up and, uh, you know, you worry too much about whether somebody says this is going to be a year of low prices because exports are being affected or anything like that. You know, you buy a farm and you hold it for, I've got one farm that I bought in the 1980s and my son runs it, but I've, I've been there once, you know, I mean, it, 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 it doesn't grow faster if I go and stare at it, you know, I can't cheer for it, you know, more effort, more effort or something like that. And I know there's going to be some years when prices are going to be good and some when the prices aren't going to be good. I know there's years when yields will be better than others, but about the farm and, and uh, it, if it, it just doesn't, I don't care about economic predictions on it or anything of the sort. I do care that over, over the years it's well tended to in terms of rotating crops and I hope yields get better, which they generally have. In fact, that farm 100 years ago would have probably produced 30 bushels maybe 35 bushels of corn per acre and now in a good year you know it'd be 200 i mean we've really made progress in this country that's one reason commodity prices if you go back a couple hundred years they've moved so little is because we've just gotten better and better at whether it's cotton or whether it's it's corn or soybeans or all kinds of things and you and i have benefited from that and so apples